The Arizona Diamondbacks hosting the Los Angeles Dodgers, and the Dodgers are minus 175 on the money line. The Diamondbacks are plus 155. The over-under is eight runs. The Dodgers laying a run and a half, meaning they have to win the game by two on minus 110. And Arizona getting a run and a half, meaning they can't lose the game by two or have to win the game outright on minus 110. Now, Bueller did pitch against the D-backs last year. Seven innings, no runs, no earned. They won that game three to one. Seven and a third, two runs, two earned. They won that game nine to three. Six innings, no runs, no earned, and they won that game 22 to one. Now, I understand that there are some teams that tattoo him, but obviously the Diamondbacks are not one of those teams. Now, Kelly pitched four times against the, Dim uh, against the Dodgers last year. Seven innings, three runs, three earned. They lost that game three to two. Five and a third, one run, one earned. They lost that game seven to four. Six and a third, four runs, three earned. They lost that game eight to three. And four and a third, he gave up four. They were all earned and they lost that game five to three. So every game that he appeared in against the Dodgers, they lost. The Dodgers are 8-2 in their past 10 against the Diamondbacks. The favorite winning the game by two is 8-2, and, and the over is 6-3-1. The Dodgers are on a one-game winning streak. The D-backs are on a one-game losing streak. I'm going to go with the numbers here, even though looking at the ERAs, this game should be closer than what it is. The numbers are saying that it probably won't be. I'm going to take the Dodgers with the money line, the Dodgers with the runs, and I'm going to go over... Uh, you know what? I'm going to go under the not the eight. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm wrong. The only number I'm going against is the over. None of these teams have really been exploding on offense with the exception of yesterday, and I don't know if that's going to continue yet.